Alright fellas, I'm out here today in the Bay again. Uh, it's uh, a lot worse conditions than uh, what I was expecting. The winds are a bit stronger. The tide's out. And I forgot my dry suit. It's okay, I got uh, my uh, quick dry stuff on. And my rain gear, so... Shit. life jackets so hopefully this isn't my final trip so it's a little rough out there I may just go out for lingcod and uh, rockfish get the limits of those and come back it shouldn't take too long but if it's not too bad out there after a bit um, I may go for the halibut we'll see how it goes I'm Brett and this is Peeling Line I got soaked. Frozen balls and all. <laughs> but uh, I'm up and going. So this is pretty rough, but uh, it's not too bad. There's not too many white caps yet. So, uh, so far so good. It's just a little bouncy. So sorry for that. Hopefully the image stability is uh, helping out with that. And uh, sorry about the wind noise probably. Uh, fortunately, uh, the wind's higher, but the uh, swell is not so bad. We've got a three foot swell at uh, eight seconds. So it's uh, hardly even noticeable. But we do have a lot of visibility. So my fears last time were uh, was getting run over by a boat and uh, hopefully that won't happen this time I've got my flag high visibility I also bought an air horn so one thing I should say is I wouldn't recommend coming out here if you're in, like inexperienced with kayaking haven't dealt with this sort of crap before definitely don't come out here um, Fortunately, or unfortunately, I don't know how you want to look at it, but uh, I've dealt with a lot worse and I know what I, my body can handle and my kayak can handle. So, um, this isn't too bad. If uh, we've got a western wind, so the wind's gonna blow me into shore. So all I gotta do is ride the wind to get back. It's getting out there, that's the hellacious part. That's not even that bad. It's just slow because of all the bouncing. I'm going like half my half my normal speed, so it basically it takes twice as long to get anywhere I want to go fighting these waves. But yeah, so uh, don't go to Walmart, pick up a kayak, and think you can come out here because uh, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. But I've had a lot of horrible days, and yeah, this could be one of them. <laughs> we'll see. But usually on these really crappy days, the fishing's the best. If you can actually fish, because sometimes the wind's blowing you around too hard, you can't get your jigs to the bottom. It's just, you're moving too quickly, and it's just no fun. 
All right, I'm just gonna try fishing here for a second. This is kind of the area where I got uh, the first batch of fish and my first cab was on last time. So drop her down and see how it goes. There we go. All right. All right. That's a black rockfish to start the day. I'm gonna keep him just so uh, I can get my limit quickly for these bottom fish. There we go. Oh, nice greenling. I'm gonna keep that one. That's number two. Well, at least the sun's coming out. It'll be a beautiful rocky day. All right, I'm gonna give this one more try right here. And then uh, I'm gonna move further up to where, closer to the uh, halibut area. This was meant to be a break cut the uh, kayak trip in half, but uh, shit. it's turning out to be more work than anything. There we go. Feels like a ling. This little guy. This feels like a good link. Oh yeah. He's actually feeling line. Holy crap, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that beast. Look at that one. That's a nice sling. All right, and just getting them all on this uh, three ounce homemade jig. I'll put a link up here uh, to the video where I make them. If you haven't seen it before, go check it out. There we go. Baby Ling. All right, I'm just gonna put this away now for a minute. And because there's some breakers right here, I wanna get past. I don't wanna be drifting into those. So I'm gonna paddle past there and uh, I'll turn the camera on when I get somewhere to fish. My pants are almost dry. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my moisture wicking underpants, so I'm soaked down there. Yes, there we go. That's a nice fish. Try a link. small and chuck him back. Got a big blue mouth on that guy. <laughs> I think he's too big for my cooler though. Just fun. All 
All right, so disaster struck. My uh, my kayak steering went on me. Not even 10 o'clock, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> It at least steers one way. Okay, so I made it out to kind of the halibut spot. I'm about 500 yards away. I'm gonna slowly drift over there. We've got a uh, southwest wind blowing me into the spot, so... It's not gonna be great for getting home, but... It helps right now. But those are problems for future me. So I just tied on a nine ounce white jig. Just gonna try that for now. And I got Mike's Super Scent Herring. Put that on here. So yeah, my electronics are down, my steering's down. Uh, wind is up, white caps, they're going strong. But uh, I'm still gonna tough it out. Oh yeah, got a fish. Oh wow, look at that quillback rockfish. Holy crap, can't keep these right now. But that's a beauty. like another quill back. chance to take a look to uh, enjoy the scenery of this area it's a nice uh, nice looking place you could do worse There we go. Got another one. Holy crap, an even bigger cool back. I threw a piece of squid on the end there and a little rattle on the top. See if uh, that can't help attract the fish a little better.
Alright, got something on here. Sweet, new species, tiger rockfish. Awesome. Oh yeah, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Just gotta get a photo for my life list. Actually, might as well keep them since uh, you can. I can keep uh, three more. Oh yeah. That feels like a ling. Not as big as the first ling or the keeper ling. But it still feels pretty good. Oh no, it's Cabazon. Yeah, sweet. All right, there he is. Just gonna check his uh, length, but I think it's 18. Um, yeah, uh, I gotta keep this one. All right, that's five. Five keeper fish. Another rockfish or uh, kelp greenling and a lingcod and I'll have my limit. The action isn't as good as last time, but that's understandable. When you're jigging, you want to be straight up and down, and I mean, it's next to impossible to do that with the current conditions. I'm doing my best, but staying on the spot, and yeah, all my, all my excuses. <laughs> I'm still catching fish, so, but it's just, that's not the point, it's like not as many. And I might just call it there, even if I don't have a halibut. It's not looking too promising and the trip back's gonna be total, total nightmare. It's just gonna take me a long time, probably a couple hours. cucumber. I don't know what the limit is on these so I'm just gonna toss him back. There we go. And a rockfish. There we go. Oh, 
I think this is a, uh, wow. Red Irish Lord. That's pretty sweet. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. Well, I've only caught one before, so not a high bar. But man, that's a cool fish. Actually, I might keep this one to eat. Ugh, sculpins are so cool. I doubt there's gonna be much meat on there, but you know, worth a try. And my cooler is kind of limited on space, so. One more fish I can keep. All right, I'm gonna switch it up now to the big guns. Oh, sweet. Canary rockfish. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Now I got a fish. That might be a hell of it. Oh, yeah. It feels good. Ling actually. <sighs> See some color. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's a cabazon. Damn. All right. I already got one of those. Um, nice fish. You can only keep one. That's why I'm chucking him back. Take a break from paddling and uh, see if I can't jig up a link cod. I'm about halfway there. Well, halfway to the uh, bay entrance. Just gotta go around that corner. Then it's like a half mile to the launch. Never tried this spot, but it's rocky, so could be fisher. There we go. Be the ling I'm looking for. Oh, kelp greenling, and he was snagged. <laughs> That's why he was fighting so hard. There we go. Greenling. Oh yeah. 
That's a good fish. Copper rockfish. Oh, it's peed on me. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> These guys are like pound for pound, one of the hardest fighting fish out here. What a beauty. Flatfish definitely fight harder. Out of rockfish, for sure, copper is the, the toughest. Oh man, he got it on the drop. Watch it be the same one. Caught it on the way down. <laughs> oh no, it's a China rockfish. Bear trauma in 40 feet of water. I don't believe that. <laughs> He's... Oh, come on. Get down there. Feels like kelp green thing. So this will be the last one. Then I'm gonna go to the uh, entrance and try fishing there for a ling. Yeah, kelp green thing. Not a bad one. But I've already got one. Oh. All right, we're about halfway there. But I'm taking another break. Fishing break. Nice kelp green thing. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna start heading back now. There's a spot down there. Hopefully I can snag a quick ling cod or rockfish just to fill out my limit. So yeah, hopefully I can get that last one. But I'll see you over there. But uh, here's a good alternative if your steering goes, is grab your, your paddle and use that to steer. All right. Fishing where I started. It'd be pretty awesome if I could get a ling like that one I kept. Gonna spend too much time here. Five, ten minutes tops. I really gotta get back. This whole uh, this kayaking back has taken way longer than I wanted to. There we go. Ah, black rockfish. <laughs> 